My squash and zucchini plants are splitting in the stalks and some are even flattening out. I am concerned about bugs getting inside the plant and causing bacterial wilt and killing the plants. Any idea as to why this is happening and what to do? And this is from Matt from Chattanooga. Right, as you can see from the picture, it looks like some aluminum foil down there, mm -hmm. you know, at the bottom. Uh, so what were your first thoughts, Mr. D? You know, from that picture, it looks like, is that boar? See, that's what I thought, squash, like squash vine boar. boar. It looks like uh, right, right at the, above mm -hmm. the aluminum foil, exactly what, what it I looks thought. like. Uh, and the busting bark, you know, that's something that commonly occurs when you over fertilize uh -huh. mm -hmm. or you had a dry period uh -huh. and uh -huh. then got a rain right. and all of a sudden you're getting plenty of rain right. sometimes you'll have that but that's not normally a problem um, but uh, the squash vine borer is a very common problem, it's a problem. and um, if they've not been <laughs> you know preventing trying to prevent that then they, right. they probably have that problem right. and I just happen to have from the red book okay. <laughs> uh, uh, suggestions on how to control uh, 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 Squash vine borer somewhere here. Washing pumpkin. Yeah, here we are. Uh, I'm on two pages. This is the Red Book. This is 2017, right. February 17. Do I not have 18? We don't have 18 yet. Okay, <laughs> that explains it. Yeah, so yeah. I'm up to date. No, you're okay. up to date. <laughs> but for both pickle worm and squash vine borer, it says treat when uh, uh, damage for the, let's see, direct sprays at the base of the plants for vine borer control. Base of the plant. The base right. of the plant. You don't have to spray it. the whole plant. Right. You don't have to spray your 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 squash, and uh, you need to repeat the application as often as necessary, up to six times, um, not more often than once every seven days. Right. But carbaryl is one of the insecticides that's recommended, and also uh, uh, esphenvalerate, bifenthrin, zeta cypermethrin, permethrin. Those are pyrethrins, mm -hmm. pyrethroids. And then Spinosad oh, is also right. uh, listed. Uh, so, uh, you know, about once a week, you mm -hmm. need to spray the base of that plant. Uh, if it's already in there, uh, and you can, the easy way to tell if it's already in there is to split the stalk. And we've tried to do that before, we've remember? We've tried to do that, yeah, and we, tried we, to do that. we were successful once, and we were unsuccessful. That's right, once. exactly right. So, uh, I don't know where it went right. at the time we weren't able to find it, but most of the time, if you've got that kind of damage, uh, this frass coming out of a hole, uh, uh, you know, at the base of the plant, that means there's something up there inside that stem creating that frass. Mm -hmm. And uh, then you can go on, I mean, the plant's gone anyway. Right. So, you know, you can go on and split the, you know, cut it off with print shears and take your pocket mm -hmm. knife and split it and just follow the, follow the tunnel. And there should be a, should be one there. Should be one at the other end. We hope you enjoyed the video. We have hundreds more. To subscribe, just click below. 